Hello there my good friends of YouTube, uh, there's a few uh, other bits I didn't show on my previous video with the uh, the 8 port um, siren fire alarm, um, so I'm going to uh, make a video, I'm just make, making a video for yourselves to uh, show you, because uh, there's some pretty decent stuff that I got today, a few bits and bobs should I say that are pretty decent. Um, this is a particular um, charger with a battery, um, it's quite a good, quite a good um, battery charger and battery pack I got two of these battery packs and um, the other one of these was broken unfortunately which I've got the the insides which I'll show you but uh, these are pretty well made um, I th believe there's something to do with um, lighting um, you know for miners or anything to do with underground dark work or um, tunneling or whatever sewerage because um, They've got a particular, basically they've got a display on here which shows you the amount of battery life which is left so you're not to uh, run short. <clears throat> um, these are, when I found them, were quite uh, badly damaged, damaged with wet. Um, you know, they've been out in the weather and whatnot, but uh, I've managed to dry them out on the radiator and they're working quite fine. With these battery, with this battery being quite dead, it's taken a while for it to uh, get going, but this charger is spiking it with a voltage and it does give a reading now and again it comes up on here um, as you can see it's uh, giving a bit of a spike just there uh, see if I can get it to show you the display there's like a reset button here to give an immediate re reading of what battery life's left a little bit of damp in the underneath the screen there but um, it's quite dry inside one gives a spike, gives a reading. I'll show you the internals of it. Quite well made. No cheap parts in it, that I can see. There's the input, just, just this, just here, that kettle socket just there. The important line filter rectifier into a line capacitor just there, into the transformer. A few couple of diodes there, one way diodes. Um, filter uh, stabilizing capacitors just there for the voltage. Uh, let's see the, show the readings on these. Uh, the transistors SUP 70N03. Two there, just in parallel. JM, oh it's an LM1084 um, I think these are IRF, these ones just here yeah they're IRF which are back to back IRF4905 <coughs> that'll be the, I'd imagine that'll be the charge I see Make sure it uh, charges correctly and all the workings. A little brain just there. Yeah, this had been run over or something, this because the case was quite badly damaged. <coughs> so, with, it, with these, they've got a port underneath, okay? They've got the port on the back. I'll show you this battery. So, these are the, that's the connections for it, and these gold um, connectors, gold plated connectors, they're actually aluminium with the uh, the gold lock but uh, that's the spec of the battery just there 14.4 volts at 6300 milliamps and the display, that's the, the make of it just there Yeah, very, very heavy. Logic series. Gold mount impact case. So it's an imp it can take a fair impact. Yes, uh, one connections on one side and connections on the other. Like they can be put back to back of some sort some way, I don't know. <laughs> Ha! 
tandem. There's a ignition transformer that I found, 10 kV, 20 milliamps, to add to my collection. This was quite wet, which I've dried down the radiator for about three hours. Um, works perfectly fine, no problems with it whatsoever. First tried up my variac, and then uh, you know just to make sure that it was all right, and it works quite fine. Found this as well. This case was badly broken, so I just took the the front of it with the internals. This was battery operated. Not quite sure what it is yet, because I've not had a look on Google, but I'll have a quick look. CM one one five. Not quite sure what it is. Media connect from some sort of media port. That's what it looks like to me anyway. <laughs> some nice ten turn potentiometers. Some nice RS switches. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, get a battery on it because the, these are the battery connections just there. Look, show you inside. It's quite old as, as you can see from the the components. It's probably eighties, nineteen eighties of some sort. Some of the ten turn potentiometers. I think they're ten turn. There might be a bit more. I'm not sure. Never really used any of them ones. But yeah, it's got a little CD display, liquid crystal. So that was another thing I found, and uh, found a lot uh, about six or eight flybacks which were being cut off, which I found on the floor, and uh, I've had this out of a monitor. Uh, sorry, a little uh, fourteen-inch television with a nice flyback on it which I'm going to strip down put it to my other collection get all these parts off that I need that I can put to me stores put in my stores ready for another day <laughs> that size of that bloody resistor that is one big resistor compared to my finger that's a big one So, thought I'd share that with you guys. Here's the 8 port. <laughs> See if this is showing anything on the display. Here we go. It's flashing something. I think that uh, display might be a little bit damp. I think. I'm not sure. Keeps flashing. There we go. What's that say? Can't quite make that out. Well, oh, it's just uh, just saying the uh, auto Davy or whatever it is. Interactive, sorry, it's saying interactive down in that corner. Uh, what's it saying underneath? There's something it's saying down that end, I just can't see it. I think that's a question mark. It's not a question mark, um, what do you call it now? Oh, no, it's not, it's actually saying something. I have to wait for that to clean up a little bit, to clear up a little bit of that uh, display, and then it will say. But uh, fifteen percent, thirty percent, forty-five percent, and sixty percent. So it is saying it's good how it shows you that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Look after yourselves. Hope you're all well, and we'll speak again.